Hey, what's up, guys? We're back again with the most unexpected deck to ever reach the top of Clash Royale. Rank 3 player in the world is cycling circles around pro players with this 2.6 Elixir Goblin Barrel deck. By going in for Goblin Barrel and spamming Skeletons, Ice Spirit, Fire Spirit, and Goblins, you're already back to another Goblin Barrel, while you're building up the Skeletons' evolution at the same time. They have to defend against Goblin Barrels on their towers, evolve Skeletons split up on both sides, and Goblins and Dark Goblins on defense that opponents need to remove if they have any hope of breaking through. So many small, fast decisions add up in a big way, allowing you to outcycle counters to the Goblin Barrel, get evolved Skeletons on the tower when they simply should in, or keep your Dark Goblins alive for endless value, granting the opportunity for massive outplay. And once this deck is up on damage, it reaches new heights of toxicity with Rocket Cycle. Two Rockets putting an end to any player that reaches 1,082 health. It's time to go Goblins galore and watch our Skeletons pour on the pressure to assert dominance. Thanks to everyone that's using credit code SirTag to make all of the hybrid videos possible. Yo, what's up, Curry? We're ready for some shots on your tower, dude. First things first, we're gonna score some points with the Fire Spirit, and then we're gonna get ready with our Goblin Barrel. So he's gonna go for a Goblin Giant first play. The audacity of this man to run the overpowered Goblin Giant even after the nerf, it's obnoxious. We're gonna go for Goblins. I hope it doesn't get a shot, and it doesn't. So he got arrow damage on our tower. He's probably gonna be running triple spells or double spells because Goblin Giant always runs rage. So let's see what we're playing against. Goblins locking on the tower. That's nice. We're getting a bit of an advantage. We can cycle skeletons since the goblins are split up. I don't know that they would get that much damage on our tower anyway. I just don't want to take any risks. So we're fine. It was interesting that the tower was targeting the goblin in the back though. Because there's a goblin in front not getting hit by the tower. I don't know how that happened. Mystery to me, man. Fire spirit, jump out of the tower, please. Or maybe he's going to go goblin giant again. Nah, he's going to go in for recruits in the back. We know that's going to be his evolution for sure. So we're playing against Recruit's evolution. We need to make sure that we have our Valkyrie cycle as much as possible. And a double elixir cycling one early on is going to be beautiful for us. I'm going to go Ice Spirit. I expect him to probably arrows this. Oh, he's going to have Rage. Yep, he's going to have double small spells as expected, bare minimum. So really difficult for us to defend this. But because I'm able to cycle back to a Valkyrie, I might be able to pull it off. Nice. So as I said before, cycling the Valkyrie early allows you to get back to another one. And because of that, we were able to defend. It wasn't the best defense in the world, but it did work out. So we want to go Goblin Barrel first, then we can go Ice Spirit. If you go Ice Spirit before the Goblin Barrel, you're actually wasting time. You want to make sure that when the Goblins immediately reach the tower, that's when the Ice Spirit crosses the river. So then the Ice Spirit is going to stay at full HP as long as possible. So it can tank the maximum duration of time for your Goblin Barrel. So that's why you drop the Ice Spirit after the Goblin Barrel is in the air already. We're going to Fire Spirit here as well, and he's going to go Recruits. That's totally fine for me. The one thing that I've realized is when we play against recruits, I need to make sure that I separate my stuff so then we don't get finessed. So he's probably going to go for a rage here. So let's get goblins down. And then the goblins don't die to the rage. So that's the reason why I did that instead of the evolved skeletons. Always identifying what our opponent's cycle is is going to be ideal. We're going to go for skeletons here and then we're going to have the fire spirit and maybe we can lock onto the cannon. If we can, then we might be able to get a lot of skeletons multiplied out here. I hope they reach the tower. Please. Please, just reach the tower. Yes! We used this cannon to cannonball our skeletons closer to him. That is insanely good. All right, we need to keep spamming in the left-hand side or we're going to lose the game. I think he's just going to possibly lose here. We'll see. Let's overload him with everything that we got. We're already back to another goblin barrel. The fire spirit's connecting to the tower too. I don't know if Rocket does enough. Rocket does not do enough. We still have to defend this. And let's go for another goblin barrel and see what happens. He's going to go Goblin Giant, obviously. That's what these players do all day long. He's going to Rage, and that's not going to stop it. We might be able to beat a Goblin Giant Recruits player with Arrows and Rage. Double small spells, and he still wasn't able to stop us. Yeah, this deck is ridiculously fun to play, especially when you're out playing dirty, deplorable decks like Goblin Giant. The deck that deserves a nerf more than anything in Clash Royale. Nothing beats the feeling of dominating an overpowered deck that has a complete counter to you. And after getting that win against Goblin Giant, we've pushed up to 3,200 in the world. Fear Dust! Dude, I hate dirty stuff. So I kind of do fear you already, but I don't know if I fear you in a video game. So the guy's going to go and spam some wall breakers and he's not leaving us in the dust. It is a must for us to go and split our goblins and we are able to shut that down. As you guys see at the start of the game, he showcased... A fact that he ended up finishing top 1,000 in the world. So he's going to be pretty good. Obviously, we want to focus up and play well against him. So we're going to get Skeletons down, have our Dark Goblin meander through in the left-hand side. We can also go for a Goblin Barrel. He's probably going to Mega Knight. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. So we can activate King Tower with a Dark Goblin and then also use our Ice Spirit. So let's make that happen. And then go in for our Ice Spirit here. Mega Knight's going to jump. And then we can hopefully counter the Dark Goblin with Skeletons. Why did the Dark Goblin get retargeted on my Skeletons, bro? Miss me with that. 
Yo, I guess I do fear you right now, because I don't know how your Dark Goblin is so high IQ. If the rest of your cards can come through with that value, then we're 100% screwed. So, yeah, not a good spot for us to be in. We're currently down a little bit. We have activated King Tower, so we'll take it, but man, super scary. I'm going to go Dark Goblin here. High chance that he goes in for his ability if he gets closer, so let's just Fire Spirit, make sure he doesn't do that. Uh, Dark Goblin, yes! I knew that was going to be good for us. The Fire Spirit even connected to the tower, too! That's insane! My man's getting outplayed right now. Or maybe we're just outlucking him. You guys let me know down in the comment section. How much of that was luck? How much was that skill? I have no clue. I'm going to go for an Ice Spirit, Skeletons, and Goblin Barrel. He'll probably, like, Mega Knight me if I had to guess. I want these Evolved Skeletons on the tower. We didn't get it. Dang. All right, you know what? We can go for Goblins on the Dark Goblin. This time, the Dark Goblin is going to die. One shot. I don't think it's one shot. It's like one shot with a tower, too. All right, we can go for this. Fire Spirit, Valkyrie. Should be able to full counter that wall breaker. Nice. I don't love that the Dark Goblin's on the other side, but I planned on just using Dark Goblin originally when I saw the Mighty Miner. So dropping the Dark Goblin on the other side means when the Mighty Miner clicks the bomb, the Dark Goblin goes on the other side away from the bomb. So I thought I was really being like high IQ there, but I guess not. I'm going to go in for Skeletons and Ice Spirit because the Skeletons would just die and the Ice Spirit would just die if left alone. So we need to go for double duty on defense. Valkyrie early so we can cycle back to another one. That's always the play. And then we can go for our Dark Goblin here. I probably want to get ready with a Fire Spirit on defense against this. He might go for a pre-arrows. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, he does. But the Fire Spirit is going to clutch up on defense, so we're okay. Not the best, but not the worst. Let's go for a Goblin Barrel and see what our dude is going to do. He might take damage. He might go Mega Knight. He's going to go Goblin Gang, and that's not going to be enough to counter it. So we're getting some decent value here. We need to cycle multiple Valkyries, as I said before. That's the only way we're defending this. We're going to Ice Spirit. We're trying to like reset his Mighty Miner. Didn't really work out that well for us. I think we have to go for Evolved Skeletons on defense on the right-hand side. That's what my game plan is right now. Probably just not going to defend that much. So the Evolved Skeletons should be more than enough. Let's go Ice Spirit. Let's go Goblins. Let's get Fire Spirit down and then get another Valkyrie on top of the Dark Goblin. The biggest issue for me is when he decides to go Skeleton Barrel like that. So I need to pop it super far away from our tower and then also get like an Ice Spirit and Skeletons on top of his Skeletons. <sighs> so sketchy. All right, let's get this down. Let's try to get like a Dark Goblin War Winds. Please. Let's go. Fire Spirit and Dark Goblin coming through. Goblin Barrel in the back. He's not ready. Yes, sir. The comeback, jumping back in the match against Mega Knight, when it seemed like we were in a perilous position, we found a way to make it happen. And with the Dark Goblin darting in at the end, we left the Mega Man in the dust, riding away with the win. And we barreled our way up to 1,700 in the world. All right, let's see what this guy's cooking. Y'all already know, Fire Spirit is what we like to do. Let's char the tower a bit, maybe get some early damage. Forcing out a Fly Machine and still having the Fire Spirit connect, let's go. If you didn't know, Ice Spirit does not fully finish off a Fly Machine with the support of the tower. You need to have something else tanking. So fortunately, we did cycle the Skeletons, preoccupying him in the back. And then we can go in for a Dark Goblin here with a Valkyrie. So we know for a fact he's running Lava Hound Clone. After we see Fly Machine and also the Baby Dragon, it just doesn't make sense for him to be playing anything else. <laughs> so if we're matching into someone that's got a Lava Clone deck, we have to go in for a very aggressive play in Single Elixir. And hopefully we can go and bait out all of his small spells. Because if he doesn't have Skeleton Army, obviously he's going to have to Arrows. But if he doesn't have Arrows in his deck and he's just running a big spell like Poison, he might not have anything. And that was the case. So he just had to eat a ginormous amount of damage. So he's probably going to Lava Hound in the back. If he does that, I want to go in for a Goblin Barrel plus Valkyrie and... Actually, screw that. Let's go for a Valkyrie plus Skeletons because that might take his entire tower. I think this will take his entire tower and he likely won't respond. But we don't want to deplete our entire Elixir bank here either because we know that the Valkyrie plus Skeletons for 5 Elixir will shut his stuff down. We might get a good rocket off on the Fly Machine. I don't think that he's going to do anything besides Poison. Uh, wait, can we rocket on everything? Yeah, let's just rocket on the Baby Dragon. Screw it. I don't want to eat too much damage here. We can get Goblins down. If I played that a little bit better, the Goblins would have been able to protect the Dark Goblin and then we would have been fine on defense. We still might be okay, but that wasn't the reasonably best play for us. All right, how are we going to win this? I think we have to three crown him with Evolved Skeletons, <laughs> which might be really stupid, but it is possibility with this fast cycle deck. Three crown is never off the menu. So I can go in for our Fire Spirit on top of the bats. If he Love Hounds, it's fine. Yeah, let's try to run it. Let's go for a Fire Spirit on top of all the bats here. It should hit all of them. Nice. Then go for our Goblin Barrel. Get our opponent to possibly go in for a Skeleton Army, which I think he's going to do. Then we can go through with everything like this. 
go for an Ice Spear on top of the Fly Machine. If the Evolved Skeletons lock on the tower, we could 3-crown him. There's a chance. He's going to poison. That's not stopping the Skeletons on the three, my dude. That is not stopping them today. Yo, we are having our way with your tower. We're going to take it away to Never Never Land. <laughs> <laughs> and he's never going to see it again. GG and well played. So I had the win condition of three crowning my opponent with Evolved Skeletons because I knew the Goblin Barrel wasn't going to do enough. So I had to rely on the One Elixir card for the win. If you put it in that perspective, it's kind of ridiculous that a One Elixir cost card can have that much power. Nothing else in my deck can match the devastation that Evolved Skeletons unleash. After beating the Lava Hound deck with only a Dark Goblin as our sole anti-air defense, we're at 1,400 in the world. And I think we're underselling it a bit. We didn't just win, we three crowned him. Hey, this guy's gonna have a little Prince of the Banner. Let's go. It's cool to be able to push up with a crazy deck that no one else has played against. They're looking at it and they're like, why is this a thing? How does this work what am i matching into all these questions i don't even have an answer for you man i'm just saying we're gonna cycle our way to success and that's how it's gonna be bro so he's gonna go in for a skeleton king let's surround it with a valkyrie please oh come on how did the skeleton king with this big broom end up hitting the precious dark goblin that we were trying to protect with every ounce of my elixir it still wasn't enough it's okay at least we can guide the ice spirit to match onto the archers so I wonder if they're feeling fancy today, if they want to get hit with a ton of spirits or if they want to die to skeletons. I think we're just going to give them the death by skeletons right now. It's kind of a traditional death in Clash Royale, whether it's a giant skeleton, a bomber, or graveyard. It happens quite often to cards in Clash. Skeletons surround everything. We can go in for a Dark Goblin here. I hate rocketing a single elixir into bowlers because the bowler doesn't die. So it will make you cry when the bowler gets counter pushed with a goblin giant and then it's just like bouncing back all your other bait cards. Ooh, this is horrendous because we don't have any small spells. So I have to protect that Dark Goblin if I can. If not, then we're still going to take a lot of damage. But yikes. Not a good matchup for us if we're trying to go same side as our opponent. So let's try to mix it up and go opposite lane. I think that we will do some dual lane pressure if we want to beat this guy. Also, we can go in for a Dark Goblin here to start sniping that. And we'll see if he decides to go and drop a range card. Let's go for a Valkyrie, make a prediction. We can go for goblins afterward, protect our precious Dark Goblin, and then we're going to go Ice Spirit to tank for it for a little bit longer. we got Dark Goblin, goblins, and we're forcing out an Inferno Dragon on the right-hand side. <laughs> I can guarantee you my man did not want to drop that card. If he freezes, I'll have to Fire his Spirit, so I think I have to just eat the damage so I can conserve my Fire Spirit and not make a stupid decision. All right, let's do this. Let's go for a Fire Spirit, and let's go in for a Dark Goblin. I don't think that this is going to do anything, but there's a chance... The Evolved Skeleton locked onto the tower. I don't know how that happened. It survived a tornado. This guy must be so upset right now. He's freezing on defense. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had more fun with a deck in Clash Royale. Like, I genuinely do not remember having this much fun in the game. Fire Spirit, if that jumped on the tower, that would have been an instant game, but we did not get it. Unfortunately, because he's going to have Evolved Archers, that's going to be a nuisance. We got to get back to another Valkyrie. So it's obvious to me that he is going to make some big plays out here and I can't let that happen. So we got to get like a Dark Goblin down. Maybe he's going to try to finesse me with this Inferno Dragon. I think that's the only shot he has to win this game. So we're not going to let that happen. I'm going to go Ice Spirit. I'm going to go Fire Spirit. We're going to give him every flavor of Spirit to just decline his Spirit and crush it to the point that he leaves the game. No Spirit, no morale. You are not going to be in the match to play any longer, my dude. Actually, I'm wrong. You're still going to try, but you're definitely dead. Despite this guy having one of the strongest spirits in existence and never giving up, which I kind of admire, he simply got slapped by our fast spirit cycle with the evolved skeleton stealing the show. And all of his tower health in the most ludicrous situation I've seen in a while. How they survived the tornado, no one will ever know. But that tornado seriously sucked. And we've cycled our way up the ranks to 1,100 in the world. Let's get after it. We're playing against a rank four player in the world. What the heck, Clash Royale? Okay, it saw us winning a lot and now it wants to tilt us. Clash Trial is on a mission to make me sad and mad, but it's not going to happen. We are untiltable with the fastest cycle, sir. We're going to go in for a Dark Goblin here, and then I want to go in for an Ice Spirit, but it's probably going to get logged because he saved his log, right? Otherwise, he would have logged on the Goblin Barrel. Oh, the Dark Goblin logged on the tower. What is the Fisherman doing? <laughs> That's the level of luck that I want to see. That was way too funny. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. The fisherman, instead of pulling, decided to go walk a century, and then it decided to go in. That was awesome. We take those. All right, we're going to go for an ice spirit here, and then try to go encounter his royal giant with only one shot on my tower. That's not bad at all. We take those. Unfortunately, the dark goblin is destined to die, but he uses his bar barrel, and the dark goblin doesn't even immediately die. Oh my gosh, the goblins are going to lock on the tower too. Does the Valkyrie get a swing? That would have been too clean. That would have been too lucky. 
So instead of dropping a fire spirit on defense, I'd rather go for skeletons since we get to the evolution faster. And also that's going to be beneficial against Royal Giants. And another thing is the fire spirit is going to force out more elixir from our opponent. He doesn't want to necessarily respond to anything else like skeletons. He's not going to respond to, but he is going to go and respond to a fire spirit barreling at him. So if you didn't know, ice spirit full counters the fisherman here. I don't have to do anything else. It might actually go and pull this. Let's go for a goblin barrel to the side. And let's go for a dark goblin. And ooh, that was a great monk on his end, I think. If it stays alive, it's really smart. If not, then <laughs> it might not have been the best bet for him. We can go in for a fire spirit, hopefully pull back the phoenix and mitigate the damage that he's going to get. And then we can go goblins afterward. Oh my gosh, chill, Bill. All right, all right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's, it's, it's all calculated out here. Never have we made a mistake in our lives. Okay, if we can get the goblin barrel in front, it'd be really funny. We're forcing out a fireball. If that skeleton multiplies, oh, it was so freaking close. Ripped off. All right, we're going to go for a fire spirit here. I think the fisherman pulls the fire spirit, so it still gets full counter, so that's good. I'd love to see him go for a royal giant in the back so we can rocket it, but he might like start to make predictions or something. Uh, that's not good. That's a dead dark goblin. Wait, we can outcycle him, I think. If he clicks the monk ability, then he's going to have a less amount of elixir, so he's not going to be able to keep up with our card cycle. There is that benefit. Let's go for this. Let's go for another Dark Goblin. And then, ooh, I think we have Valkyrie on the other side and we go Goblin Barrel. Yeah, let's run it. Let's do this. Let's go Goblin Barrel and see how this goes. If the Dark Goblin just stays alive, then we're in a superb spot. I think that the Dark Goblin does stay alive, interestingly enough, for forever. <laughs> we'll just do that. We'll roll with that. We can go in for Evolved Skeletons if we want, but probably not the best. Let's go in for an Ice Spirit. Let's go Goblins. We're gonna, ooh, I did not even make a prediction on the Fisherman, but we'll say it's a prediction anyway. I mean, we're playing against a rank four player. I have to play extremely well to win this. All right, let's go this. Skeletons. Ice Spirit here. Go Goblins afterward. If that evolved Skeleton on the right-hand side does him dirty, it would be so funny. I, I think he has to respond to it. I'm pretty confident he has to respond. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Oh, it activated King Tower. That sucks. That's so bad for me. Why did it activate King Tower? Wait, we forced out a bar barrel. He would have gotten three crown maybe. Maybe it wasn't bad. Maybe it was so big brain that I didn't even understand it was big brain. There's a possibility here. Things are working. <laughs> How are they working? I don't know. I'm going to go for a fire spirit. I want to go for a dark goblin again in the back. See what's cooking. We could rocket the monk and play with this man. I don't think he's ready for this. I don't think he's ready for the juice. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he went in for the ability. If you didn't know, you can't drop the ability fast enough for that unless you have your hand on the ability. So I tested him. Even rank four player in the world wasn't capable of that, which is really funny to me. Maybe not hilarious to you guys, but I love that. All right, we can start to go and spam a lot more. We're going to go in for another Valkyrie here. We're going to get uh, Goblin Barrel on the tower to force out more Elixir. And then we're going to go in for Evolved Skeletons on top of the Royal Giant so we don't take any damage from it. I don't even think it gets a single shot on my tower. With 44 seconds remaining, we have to focus on defending this because obviously the Valkyrie is not going to be enough. We have to go for an Ice Spirit. The Royal Giant only gets like one shot on my tower, possibly. We'll see. He's not even going to be able to go and kill the Dark Goblin, though. What a weird game. <laughs> what if we wandered into? <laughs> what the heck? Goblin Barrels are going everywhere. Phoenixes are flying in the right. Okay, we're going to have to rocket this and then I'm going to try to defend minimally. Maybe we're okay. Uh, that's actually a bunch of damage that he's going to get with the Royal Giant, but with 15 seconds remaining, we can just rocket and win. So, fun stuff. Obviously an adventure, unless... Unless... No, nah, we can Ice Spirit this. We're, we're cool. We're chilling. We're vibing, right? Right? Oh, that was way too close. <laughs> I screwed around a little bit too much at the end. I should have chucked more Goblin Barrels. But we made it closer for your guys' enjoyment, right? Yeah. We made a rank four player in the world. Let's go. It's also nice knowing you can beat someone at that caliber when you don't have a single building to defend against their royal giant. The guy finished 167 in the world recently, and he finished number four in the world in a global tournament. Playing a speedy 2.6 elixir cycle hypes me up to the point that it outclasses any coffee. Like, subscribe for more daily videos, and have an amazing rest of your day.